So quite a while ago, I revealed to you guys that I've been doing some farming low key. So I just go for like a 10, maybe 20 minute farm session a night. And yeah, it's kind of enjoyable. But the main goal from that is to try to get the Tangle Root Pets and also just use up some of these seeds. So I started off with the high XP seeds like the Magics and the Palms. But I realized that the rates of getting the pet from those are actually really low. Which is kind of sad compared, you know, to some of the other more special crops like seaweed spores and like cactus. I started shifting my focus more on the special seeds. And that's kind of where we're at right now. But yeah, uh, in the graph you see here is kind of like the journey thus far this year. And of course, I did some before the year as well because like we started at 30 million all the way up to about 39 million. So I'm going to show you guys the progress from that point onwards. And of course, we're going to be covering uh, the rest of the PVM goals later on in this video. I think I'm going to start doing crystal trees for my uh, daily tree runs. It's only going to be like an extra 20 seconds, not a big deal. So you see this crystal weapon seed? They're no longer really useful for me. I only really need like three seeds, honestly, for like crystal halberds and stuff. And the rest is just kind of sitting there. So, all right. So I think this is the guy I got to talk to to exchange the uh, weapon seeds into the crystal acorns. Yeah, yeah. Don't ask again. Yep. Okay, so I have a total of 53 crystal acorns. We're looking at like 600, 700,000 farm XP in just these. And the cool part is I get some shards back. So uh, every ch crystal tree is like 8 to 13 crystal shards, which is, yeah, that's pretty nice too as well. So I'm going to start planting these soon. In the age of the internet and beyond, it is more important than ever to equip yourself with great tools. One of them is a VPN. ExpressVPN is by far the best VPN out there. I have personally used ExpressVPN intensively when I studied abroad in China. China blocks connections that are not native, such as RuneScape.com. However, ExpressVPN allow me to mask my IP and bypass the censorship so I can visit websites that I usually go to, like RuneScape, Google, or YouTube. Now, for the typical online user, ExpressVPN can greatly benefit you too. It can mask your IP through strong encryption so others can't spy on you, and if you ever need to watch shows that are region restricted, you can easily use ExpressVPN to switch into a region that bypasses the censorship, like on Netflix. If you use my link expressvpn.com slash rightscope, you can get three months of ExpressVPN for free. Link will be in the description of this video. Whoa, crystal tree looks cool as hell, dude. Damn. 50 KC at uh, Hisporu. <clears throat> Just doing those uh, as part of my tree runs, of course, because the seeds are useful and a uh, pretty solid pet chance too, I guess. But yeah, I think it's time to take this more seriously. I haven't been doing it too efficiently, so we're actually going to go for... Uh, a bit more efficient. We're gonna go for the plants that give the best rates, you know, like the mushroom ones, the uh, belladonas, you know, stuff like that, giant seaweeds, etc. Instead of just the fruit trees, you know, I, I kind of don't care about XP anymore. I'd rather just try to get this uh, pet, you know. We're gonna try something a little different. So I'm gonna go to Master Farmers and just pick a ton of seeds. Let's see what we can get in like an hour so we can, uh, you know, figure out the plan. All right, I did about an hour of the Master Farmers. Let's just say uh, I won't be doing this anymore just because the valuable seeds that I'm looking for, you know, for good pet rates, you just don't get a whole lot. You know, an hour, so much clicking just for like 26 seeds. I think I did a little bit under an hour, but yo, 103 seaweed spores. God damn. I've been thinking about it. I think it's actually better for me to actually start doing some contracts you know maybe uh just do a daily cv run with some contracts in there and then stock up on them uh cactus and all that stuff and then we can just do all the you know really good rates uh seeds and just cut out the trees I, i'm kind of just you know done with that phase yeah i think that's the plan all right so to prepare for my contract shenanigans i'm gonna do like one session a day but in this session I'm gonna pre plant all my stuff so I can be ready for it so I got my Kronos plant ready to go so I can uh, jumpstart all these patches if I you know need to grow some quickly 
Yo, this is pretty crazy, man. I just got five reward packs from the farming contracts in a row, man. How many have you guys gone in a row? We'd love to hear it. There we go. Ah, nice. Oh, so close to the bell donut patch. Right here. Right there. So close. So I had a bunch of leftover fossils and I traded them in for some noom lights because uh, I can actually just pay her. Wow, it's really expensive though. What the hell? 200 noom lights. So um, I can't do this forever, but the idea is I'm not going to compost these because if I compost them, the yield is ridiculous and it takes forever to clear them. And I'm not here for XP, you know, I just want to clear as fast as I can for the pet. So whenever I have some extra noom lights, I'm just going to do it that way. Fossil collector, I got some more fossils for you. Yes, yes, yes. It's a good thing about going for the Ancient Wyvern shield is that you get a bunch of these from the Wyverns. And that's pretty nice for the Numalites. Good payment, you know, for seaweed. <laughs> you're fucking cooked, go to bed! Holy shit, you're cooked! You're cooked! Oh, another bombless bucket, lol. Hey, nice got a new PB. Finally, the Halley decided to hit a hundred. Yo, let's check my farm XP. Oh, damn. 10 HP, Jesus. What, another bombless bucket? <laughs> oh my gosh, I just get them all the time, it seems. Say what? Wow, that's so awesome, dude. I've set this little project. I, I wouldn't say it's little anymore, but yeah, I started doing these farm runs specifically to get this pet many, many, many months ago, if anything, maybe even like a year ago. Nah, may maybe not up to that point, but, but yeah, wow, that's crazy, man. All right, let's talk to this pet here. Hello there, pretty plants. I am Tangleroot. That's it? No, I, I guess, you know, if it's based off like the marble. All right, let's go use the acorn on the tangle root. Cool. That's pretty sick. Oh, they're pretty plant. Oh, okay. I thought maybe new forms would have new dialogue, but it does not. But yeah, man, it's pretty sick. It's pretty sick. Sam, few serums. Oh, yo, let's go. Let's go, man. That is so well deserved, dude. A dupe this kill. No, don't do it. Oh, oh my god, no way. Oh my god, you are. F I can't believe this prime. Why would you say that? Oh my goodness, he said. A dupe this kill, dude. He said a dupe this kill, bro. He said a dupe this kill, dude. Unbelievable, bro. Dude, I'm dead. Bro, server! Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, that was crazy. Holy shit, SGS spec procs with Blood Fury? Oh my god, dude. Are you freaking kidding me? Shit, man. I might die. It really depends on when I get the spec here. Oh, bitch. Oh, Jesus Christ, man. That was ridiculous. Holy shit. I just hit the max. 48, 24... Dang, that was so close. That was like one off max. Oh damn, I got another blood shard. Shit. Oh my goodness, why? 
Oh, hallelujah, man. Hallelujah. More and more blood shards. Well, just can't even find enough nightmare worlds nowadays to even use up these blood shards that much. I might have to think about using these elsewhere. <laughs> you can put the uh, blessings in here. It's in the easy section. I think last time I tried it didn't work because it was noted. But yeah, I didn't bother to check if, you know, physical ones worked. But yeah, you just can't do noted ones. Damn, maybe not. Okay, never mind. I think we're good. Yay! Oh, what? How is this a new personal best? That makes no sense, guys. I swear, I made so many mistakes this run. Now, right, anyways, let's go. Come on. Number 22, apparently. Yeah, here we go, boys. Oh, no gel and no break for me. Every Tim. Alright, we are done with this task, and I'm still dry. 2,000 kills. And a 1 in 500 drop, we are still... We're basically 4x dry. Yeah, it's been a long time since I've I've seen... Ooh, we got a Berserker Ring. That should probably finish it off. Let's go for the double heal. Oh, but, do, 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 do. I just got back-to-back -back Berserker Rings. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god, that was sick. Oh shit, I actually hit 4,000 Rex KC. What? I thought I was gonna get a next task, but I actually, actually, uh, got it this task. Cool. Yay, 1,000 more to go, and we actually hit the rate. Here goes nothing, guys. This could be a jackpot, you know? This could be a jackpot. Here we go. <laughs> oh, bold wig, dude. Uh, what, was, what was the bonus item? Oh, the Ranar weed. I got a bold wig, dude. I look like Mod Ronin. No, actually, maybe not. Yeah, that's kind of, yeah, that's, I miss, I miss the bold mod. I miss, I miss the bold. Oh, hell yeah, now we got something, Kyle. I got something, dude. When you are in the Corrupted Gauntlet, you're so busy paying attention to the enemies, the bosses, that you don't really get to appreciate the surroundings because you're just so hyper-focused. But I've done so many gauntlets now, you know, 1,700 completions later, I finally noticed that the ground has a floral decoration. I just want to let you know that there's sometimes detail that would take you forever to notice even if you've done it so many times but yeah the floral decoration is cool oh nice crystal armor seat got another one uh worms dude those those suck they're really bad oh that's nice that's a good one i need to get some echo keys though before i go so let's go ahead and use the obelisk i actually haven't even used this obelisk ever since making it but now, you know, we get to take take advantage. That's so nice, man. You know, don't have to go through corp anymore for this. So for this Armadale task, I have a mad idea. And that is to bring the Dark Bowl. I think the Dark Bowl can complement the T-Bow method very well. And hear me out. So the T-Bow method that I do works well to the point that I don't need chins. But it has one really, really obnoxious flaw. And that is sometimes the boss will sit at like 10 HP and you just can't finish it off. You know, it could be like 20 seconds before you can get that last 10 HP down. And even with a blowpipe trick, it doesn't always work out too well. And the Debo spec works out really well because as soon as I launch the spec, it's a guaranteed 16 damage no matter what. So I'm going to put the Debo to the test and see how reliable I can finish off a lot of these uh, armadillo kills. All right, that's gonna one shot it. There we go. Okay, there we go. Debo did something. Now you're dead. I don't care what you say. You don't have a choice. Definitely. Paid off there. Yes, and I got the range pots. I needed that. All right, never mind. I didn't even need the Debo. Oh, nice. First drop in a while. Well, I haven't been here in a while, so. Alright, well, it looks like that's enough for this trip. Yeah, 27 kills that trip with the Dark Bow first try. It was a bit sloppy at the start. I didn't really know how to use it, but now I do. Alright, we're about to wrap up about a 34 kill trip using the D-Bow addition. And, yo, that was a really nice trip. Especially because of the consistent kill speed. No longer do I really 
half kills where it just gets so bad because I can't finish it off at 10 HP because the Debo just covers for me. So yeah, really noticeably faster kills overall. Fast forward a bit, this is actually my second Armadale task with the Dark Bow. I loved it so much that I had to just keep using it. It is really amazing. This trip was a probably going to be around a 40 kill trip if I didn't uh, finish the task. Like, that's how good it was. The consistent increase in kill speed is such a big deal, you know, so impactful. And I can honestly probably combo with the Eldritch Staff. Especially when the Eldritch gets buffed uh, to 55% spec use instead of 75. For example, if I can just KO Armadale before it hits low HP, then I'll just use Eldritch spec to get my prayer back. And if Armadale is at like 10 HP or something, I'll use Debo instead. And yeah, it'll probably make the method go crazy good. Can't wait for that update. Oh, what? That was crazy. I managed to freeze all three of them like that. A few important things to talk about before I wrap up. The first one is going to be about Trailblazer League. I will be playing a lot of Trailblazer League on Mr. Iron Bar. And we'll be making a lot of videos on that as well when it comes out in about 8 days or so. It will be for at least a month. Maybe two. We'll see. And uh, another thing to talk about is that this progress video is going to be the last normal progress video for Mr. Iron Bar. For a while. I'm very happy with where we have left off thus far. We've completed pretty much almost all of Nightmare. Kept up to date with Darkmire updates for the most part. With the Ring of Endurance and so on. It was a lot of fun. And I think it's time to kind of just take a break. And work on some new stuff. And of course we got Leagues coming up. So that's going to be fun. And uh, after Leagues we'll be back on Juan Man to finish that series. So hope you all excited for that. But yeah, there's a lot of stuff coming for this character. Most likely, my guess is at some point, we will get something like Raid 3. And that will certainly be a good time to return on this account to do some serious grinding again. But there is no announcements on Raid 3 yet. I'm just guessing here, okay? So don't go saying, oh, Raid Scope said there's Raid 3. Look, inevitably there will be. And I think whenever a big update like that comes out, I'll definitely be back on this account to do no progress again. I hope you guys enjoy the Trailblazer League progress for Mr. Iron Bar and future series and future content. Thank you guys for watching today's video. If you found this video to be enjoyable, consider giving a like. We also have a friends chat. Feel free to join that if you want to hang out. And also consider subscribing and ringing the bell. That way you will get all video notifications. And if you have Amazon Prime, feel free to subscribe on twitch.tv slash ricecup and you can financially support me for free through Amazon Prime. Anyways, thanks for watching. See you guys later.